Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I'll show you a case study on how you can create a mini dashboard in less than 15 minutes. Now to give you a bit of a background this happened in December last year when I was gearing up for a three-week vacation and one of my colleagues uh, walked up to me and uh, he showed me a data set similar to this one so he had uh, a lot more columns in this and the idea was that he had a call in an hour with the country general manager and a lot of senior folks and he wanted to show them something using this data and he had absolutely no idea how to do this so I sat with him and in 15 minutes we were able to create a mini dashboard something like this and you can see that uh, this is nothing fancy but uh, still a very good piece of work when you think that it was created in 15 minutes and what it does is you can have these filters and when you click on these filters the data gets filtered and it is displayed here and there are three filters here along with uh, some summary which is about the deal count and win value so if you look at the data here I have client names I have the industry I have the country or the region uh, the date of win and the win value and here in the dashboard I have these three filters where I can select the industry I can either select one of the industries or I can select all industries uh, and I have the regions again with all regions or the given regions and I have these months uh, so this case study was done this data is for 2014 so it's all these months in 2014 or you can select all the months now when I went for vacation and when I came back after three weeks this guy greeted me with a big grin on his face and he was really happy because uh, of this dashboard he had a fantastic call with the general manager and all those senior folks and it gave him uh, a good platform to showcase his skills and then he got a bigger project using it so he ended his year with a bank and this is the power of dashboard you need not create something really fancy but something like this which can help the person go to the next level of analysis would really impact your work and you can see the results so in this case you would see that I have this data and uh, this data pretty much is very bland you would not be able to analyze it you would have to manually apply filters but I just did, a, did some calculations some bit of uh, uh, these filters combo boxes and summarization and you can see that it has come up really nicely so in this video I would show you how you can create this mini dashboard in less than 15 minutes and I'll show you from scratch so let me take you to a different workbook here I have the same data I have client names here there are 100 records the industry uh, the region or country date of win and win value and this is where the mini dashboard tab where I would have the dashboard so the first thing that I need to do is insert those combo box those filters as you saw so to do that I would first go to, to the developer tab if you do not have the developer tab simply right click on any of these tabs go to customize the ribbon and in Excel options check this box this would be unchecked simply check this click OK and then developer tab would be visible go to insert and here I have the combo box I would insert this combo box by clicking anywhere on the worksheet and you can resize this as an object so I would resize this combo box here now I need to give it some input data because that is what this combo box would show me and when it does when I select something then there should be some cell where a value changes so that it controls the data so to do that let me uh, create those input values the first thing here would be uh, industry so what I would do is I would copy all those industry values I would go to here in a separate worksheet that I've created named links and here I would paste this and I need only unique values so I would go to data and here I would go to remove duplicates you can also use the keyboard shortcut alt a m and it would open the remove duplicates dialog box here I have selected column a my data does not have headers so this is unchecked and when I click OK it removes all the duplicate values and leave me with five unique values which are these similarly I would again go back here select the regions because I need the input value for countries as well so I would again do the same thing press control V and then alt a m and in this case it says expand the selection because it notices that there is some data in the adjacent column but I would continue with the current selection 
remove duplicate and OK and this gives me seven unique values and similarly here I need to do it for months but I do not have the data which says January February so I wouldn't manually type this maybe in just two cells and then I can drag it autofill would do the work for me one thing that I need to do here is I need to insert a row here and also say all industries here I would say all countries and here it would be all months now these becomes the input values so what I would do here is I would right click go to format control and the input range would be these cells and you can see that and in this case I only have six or maybe yeah six values so I would keep the drop down lines at six and when I click OK and you can see now when I click on this it will show me all these values similarly I would have to copy this and paste it again so that I need to have more than one filters and I would simply do the same thing for other filters as well so what I would do is I would right click go to format control here I would go to all countries change this to eight and the same thing here format control input range would be these months and I would keep this at say eight now you can see that when I click on this you can have this drop down and when I select it it comes here but still something needs to happen because uh, if I select healthcare something needs to change so that I can extract the data so to do that I would have to create cell links and what I'll do is I would use these cells here and I would put the cell link here so I would right click format control cell link and the cell link for it goes here and see what happens when I select say all industries it becomes one but when I select healthcare it becomes two because healthcare is at the second position in this list similarly I would quickly create the cell links for other cells as well so I would make this here and similarly here and now when you change these when I make this all countries it becomes one and when I select say February then it would be three one thing I would do is I would quickly extract what two means here so I would say this is my row the, my array here in the index formula and this would be my row number since there is only one dimensional array or range I need not put the column number here and the same thing needs to be done for other cells as well so let me quickly change the reference so that I can simply copy paste it and you can see now when I change these selections it would change so if I make it 4 this becomes March so my drop downs are set now I need to go back to the data and here I would use helper columns so let me create those helper columns here h1 h2 h3 and h4 so I would use four helper columns and uh, I would check whether the selection here matches the data or not so what I need to do is I need to simply create a condition and I would use if formula and I would say if this cell f4 to lock the cell is equal to all industries then give me true but if it is not then check whether this cell again f4 is equal to the industry here in the data and let me again revisit the formula and show you what I mean by this first I check whether the criteria that I've selected in the drop down is all industries if it is all industries give me true anyway I know need not check for any other condition but if it is not all industry say it's healthcare then I need to check whether this is healthcare or not if this is healthcare give me true else give me false now let's go to the dashboard and see if it's working I would select banking and when I come back here it gives me false so fair enough it's working now I would simply drag it for all these and again go and quickly check I select all industries and I expect everything to be true and sure enough it is now similarly I would create the formula for country as well as uh, month so similarly I would create an if formula if this value here f4 is equal to all countries then give me true else you would check whether this cell f4 to lock it is equal to 
the country in the data and simply click enter and now you can see it gives me all trues but when I select China it gives me true only when there is China in country and similarly I would quickly do the same thing here I would say if this value f4 is equal to all months then give me true else I would have to check for this cell instead of this cell and I'll show you why I'm checking whether this number is equal to month of this data and F no I don't need to F4 here and simply click enter and it gives me false here but let me double click and see if it's working so I selected March and it is giving me false till here but all these values are true because now these values are in March so if you see here okay no these are in April so one minor thing that I need to do here is I need to simply subtract one from this and let me explain why I'm doing this double click here and now sure enough all those true values are for March the reason I'm doing this here is because first I'm checking whether the selection there is all months or not if it is then everything becomes true else I would go and check the month for this and in this case the month is one and I check this value and this value would be 2 for January 3 for February so I would simply subtract 1 from it and check if this value is equal to the month in the data and if it is then it returns the right result now the final thing in the helper column here is I would use an AND formula and I would simply check whether all these cells are true and if they are then it returns true else it returns false and as of now there are no results that are true but let's do one thing let's select all months here all industries and China as the country and you can see that it's true here because it's all industries China and all uh, the months now with this data I have a foundation where I can think of extracting the relevant data so I would create a calculation column here I call it Cal 1 Cal 2 but you can call it helper column 5 or 6 and what I'm trying to do here is I would simply check whether it's true or false and if it is true say if this value is true then give me the row number and I'm using rows formula here so that when it goes down it would become 2 3 and so on I would lock the first reference so now this gives me the number of rows between J2 to J2 which is 1 when I go down it would give me the number of rows between J2 to J3 which would be 2 and so on so this gets incremented by 1 whenever I go down and if this is not true then give me blank and now I hit enter and double click on this and you can see that now it's giving me this data Where, wherever this is true it's giving me the row number else this is giving me a blank now I have these row numbers and I need to extract this data because it's true for all the filters and so that uh, to do that I would simply have to get all these numbers together so I would use the small formula I would select this entire array press F4 to lock it and I would again use rows formula in the similar fashion and here I would lock the first cell reference so that when I go down it gives me the second smallest third smallest and so on and now when I double click you can see it gives me these numbers and some errors because at some point of time there would be no numbers left so I would simply wrap this in if error and say this is the value but if it's an error give me blank and now when I double click here it gives me all these numbers and blanks if there is an error now my work is almost done all I need to do here is go back to the mini dashboard I would copy these headers these client names and industry country and all put these headers here and I would simply extract the data so I'm not worried about formatting uh, that can be done at a later stage what I need to do here is I simply need to extract the data for all these filters that are applied so I would use an index formula this data here becomes my array this entire data I would press F4 to lock it and my row number would be these numbers that I've stacked up and I would press F4 thrice so that my column is locked but not the row and my column number here would be given by the columns formula and 
I would again use it in the same way. I would lock the first F1 so that when I go to the right, it becomes two and three and so on. And now when I hit enter, it gives me client one here. And when I drag it down, it's giving me the right result, which is client one, five, 12, and 15. Let's go back and see. Yes, one, five, 12, and 15, which is the client number. Now I need to simply drag this to many rows so that my entire data set is covered. Also, I need to make sure that there would be errors. So I need to wrap this within if error. Let's say if error, give me a blank. Uh, since I have 100 records, I would take this to 105, and not more than that, so which is here. And all these numbers below this should be 0. Um, I mean, delete it. and simply copy this for all these rows all these columns and you have the entire data here let's see if it's working I would select France here and yes it is working because now I have all the records for France I would change the format a bit date of win make it look like a date because Excel stores dates and times as values so I would simply make this here let me check again when I select January it gives me all the records for France in January if I select only health carrier there are no records for it but if I select banking then there is this one record and instantly you can see how powerful it has become because now a person can play around with the data he can quickly analyze if I am say a banking guy or if I am uh, interested in this industry I can quickly see that there has only been one win in France and that was in January this is the value so this is how you can create a mini dashboard now uh, the remaining part was of about the beautification you can format this data you can also have those summary things displayed say in total number of wins and uh, the win value so to do that I would simply create a formula and I would say count if in this range and you can select any column you want f4 and the criteria here would be that it should have at least one character so I would use question mark asterisk question mark represents one character and asterisk represent any number of characters so this is a condition that would give me the right result it gives me 100 as of now let's see if I go back and change this to only China if it gives me the right result sure enough it does it gives me 12 here and similarly I can also have the sum and here I need not do anything special simply a sum formula would do now when I hit enter it gives me the sum here and you can simply go back to the dashboard go to insert text box insert a text box here and simply go and link it so you click on the formula bar while this text box is selected go to the this tab and select this value and it will give you 12 now what happens is whenever you change these values it would automatically get updated in the cell and in the text box similarly I can duplicate this by pressing Control D and in this case instead of E7 I would have E8 and this is the value now you can go back here and format it with thousand separator no decimal places and it will be displayed in that way go back again to insert and these are things that are just uh, adding some glitch to your dashboard these are some formatting things that I'm doing so in this case it would be say deal count and again I would duplicate it and bring it down and this would be win value in dollar million remove the border from it and these values are here now again what you need to do is simply wrap it in a box color that box change the font change the font size and this would start looking something like this that we have here so we have the real count we have the win value and again these are 
dynamic. So you can see that in little time we have created something that would be of value to your client, to your bosses because this is another layer of analysis that they can quickly get the data for. For example, they can simply change these filters and they would have the relevant data, they would have a summary and it looks good. So this is how you can create a mini dashboard. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.